Thank you guys for all of your support. I'm gonna go for pepper lunch. I know, basic. this video I am remembering or lack of remembering when I took these shots and it's pretty amazing to me and it brings back good memories while you're traveling usually you don't appreciate all the things um, that's around you all the little things or you don't see everything and I think that's natural and that's normal so I'm really grateful to be able to look back on these scenes and sit back and enjoy you guys.
that uh, the Koishikawa Korakuen is one of the nine metropolitan cultural heritage gardens in Tokyo. It has continued on from the Edo, Meiji, and Taisho, preserving history, culture, and nature. Try something interesting and different today. Let me know you. Who remembers these Korean hot dogs? Oh, I kind of ended up in Amiyokocho without knowing. Kind of cool. Just totally forgot about coming here. They're closing now, so I'm not gonna have time. Next time. You know what? I was gonna go to KFC, but there is a Robin Sushi over here. So. Well, I did. I also bought a uh, family chicky, so I could just eat that later as a late night snack. And then right now, I'll get the revolving sushi. Sounds like a plan. Just, just constantly eating, right? But not eating a lot, though. Oh yeah, it's packed. It's gotta be good. It's gonna be fresh. Yes. Okay. Going for it. quick meal spent about five dollars for four plates including two single pieces of uh, toro and it was pretty tasted pretty premium to me yeah pretty authentic pretty good pretty fresh all right um i'm still going to kfc <laughs> Okay, so I didn't even comment on that massage. That was amazing. It's expensive because massages in Japan overall are expensive. But um, you get 45 minutes to soak your feet. 1,000 yen, which is like $9. You can... Uh, Sorry, wait a second. You can uh, get an herbal tea, which was very tasty and healthy. Um, and then I added um, another $9 to get a 10 minute massage, which um, was very, very good. Like, I know it wasn't long, but they did a good job. And just soaking your feet in cold weather. So good. It's like, you can't even do that in a hotel or at home. So it helped so much. I felt like. If I did that before, then I probably would have felt better, you know, after all the walking every day. But yeah, it's a little bit pricey, so it's not something you would do every day. Oh. Alright, what's this? Good job. Tomorrow, if, if for some reason I don't do the husband, I'll get another foot so. Another day, and another 
big turd. Good morning. This is my second to last Tokyo in Japan this year. And uh, I'm gonna really enjoy, enjoy the sights, sounds, experiences, tastes. I'm gonna slow down the vlogging. I know I didn't vlog crazy much either, but I'm just gonna think less about um, the vlog. But I'm gonna think more about internal stuff. I'm just gonna take it Zen day, you might call it. And uh, really enjoy everything. Yeah. I'll still take um, cool shots of things I see for sure. Um, yeah, so you'll still get that. I'm just gonna think less. So it's more of an internal thing, yeah. More internal mindset things that you know I love talking about. And um, if you guys want to hear more about these like mindset stories, um, please let me know. Uh, give me a thumbs up to this video. Comment down below if you're also a solo traveler and what is your mindset. All right, see you in a bit. The place is called Otako and they use all rice flour. But this is a ramen raisin rice flour shifa. For uh, about um, less than three dollars. Yum! Wow. Perfect. And it's not sweet, not too sweet. Mm. I love the little bits of fig inside. So during this trip to Tokyo, I noticed there are these uh, small gacha machines that have really tiny prizes that you can get like a whole bunch of something, whatever you like, like these cute uh, little keychains that you see. I really wanted the boba one, the, the milk tea one, but it is really hard to get. They're cheaper and they look like they're easier to get, but no, it is impossible. More gambling.